What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is, and I, I, you really know what I do, so I'm going to go in. And I'm going to give you some worldly views today. This is like a world video today. Like today, I usually do some relevant topic type stuff. So today is a relevant topic type stuff because you should care because it'll affect you, because it affects the U.S., it affects the world. So let me go in. Today, I'm going to talk about North Korea, Gangnam style. Now, North Korea, the North and South have exchanged artillery fire. You know, it showed North Korea might be done talking and actually doing something. I know China's been trying to talk to them, and, uh, well, uh, Russia's been talking to them, but North Korea has fired live, from what I heard recently, live artillery fire at North Korean ships. You know, and they're sending a message to the United States. Like, they don't listen to anybody. That's the message they're trying to send, I guess. Because as you see, the son, Kim Jong Il's son has ramped up the rhetoric and uh, and the uh, action, I should say. And a threat of live missiles and fire goes to show you that can it can do it. It can do it anytime, anywhere they want to do it. I mean, they tried to test fire a missile in, to reach like uh, Los Angeles, but it didn't come close. So we're not really worried about that. But uh, we're going to talk about how the North Koreans they're, per they're perceived. The joint U.S.-South Korean drills, they perceive it as a threat to try to intimidate North Koreans. You know, but things are ratcheted up for me because, like, North Korea feels like, I guess, we shouldn't be there at all. And you have to look at the South China Seas, the whole area, the, the, uh, what's that, the Western Pacific to us. In the South China Seas, you have China and Japan already jaw jacking, squirmishes over just a couple of disputed islands, and they're still salty over World War II, you know, the past. And now, they're, they're now you got North Korea and South Korea doing their little skirmishes. Now see, and here's another topic that I might talk about, but you guys didn't realize. Russia and China have entered a, a gas agreement. Well, so has Russia and Nigeria for that matter, so. You know, these are just relevant topics coming up. But uh, as far as the South Korea thing, if you notice, as long as North Korea was ratcheting up everything, like Japan was kind of quiet. But now that China is talking to North Korea, they're talking to the Ruskies, Japan itself, and I did a video on Japan, Japan itself is arming itself now. They're, they're building an offensive military. They're not building a defensive. Well, they have a defensive military and they're allowed that, I guess, under their constitution. But now they're building an offensive military. So that means, like, say they still feel a perceived threat, they can pull out Israel and start start going after people. Like, like I think people don't know, after World War II, Israel, Japan was not allowed to have a offensive military, which I don't understand the difference between offensive military and defensive military, outside of that you can't fight, you can't fire first. That's the only thing I can think of it as. Excuse me for a minute. But we have to understand this is going to put us in another arena as far as world politics because, don't forget, why you th I think that's why we're letting, like, that's why we said Japan, do what you have to do. Like I said, we can't be dispersed. You know, you got the Russian Ukraine situation, you got the situation down in Africa with the, with the 300 little girls, which ironically nobody cares about the girls in the United States disappearing, but we'll get back to that. But, uh, and you got the South China Seas. So, so we have to have allies down there. We have two of them South Korea and Japan. So, I, well, you need to stay tuned and stay aware and stay focused. On the North Koreans, because like he, he, this little, this little bastard over there, he's, he's, he's the real deal. So I'm just want, just want to give you a video about it. And, you know, stay tuned and be aware. Because the more you're aware, the more you'll learn, and, and the more you'll stay focused. So all right, deuce.